the special SSK episode, which stands for Super Summer Knit Away. Knit together, knit together, in case you didn't know that. I am your host, Steph, also known as Knitting Samurai, and this is the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. <laughs> this is not going to be your typical episode. I'm just going to do a rundown of the good things that happened to SSK. Hey there, this is Steph, your host. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a travel log. So what you're looking at here is my bed with this massive bag and um, my clothes are stacked up behind it that I need to put in the bag and yeah, I guess that's it. So let me show you. The bag is huge, right? Once I start filling it, there's plenty of space, but it has this great lower pouch. Let's try and unzip it. Yes, it takes that long to unzip and go around this bag. Uh, I'm not even going to half fill it on the way there. Just in case, I need space. So here's the bottom half of the bag. And you can see this bag was designed to have shoes. No, this is not a bag ad. So I got my flip-flops. got my project bags with all the goodies in them. I'm not going to open them all. I'll just tell you that this is socks. No, this is a shawl. This is my... Oh, Linus is here. <laughs> He spent a lot of time laying and this as it laid on the floor. So it has the summer solstice shawl. This one has my Maluka. There's Linus. Here comes Mac. We're going to have a little cat fight. In this one we have my Farmer's Market socks and the Fiber Nymph shawl. Bag. Plastic bag for dirty clothes. Toiletries. Some magazines for the return flight. Water bottle because I'm sure I'll be able to fill water and tote that around with me. And then in here, a caked up thing of sock yarn with needles just in case I need it. Alright, Linus, go. Of course, there's all my clothes and my multiple pairs of pajamas because I'm sure there'll be some pajama time. Because, you know, what do ladies do? First thing when they get home most nights, getting their PJs. Down here you can see my electronics. And this this is my market tote bag that I'm going to use. And in there, I'm going to use it on the plane more than likely too. We have more magazines. Um, the I didn't want to bring it, but I changed my mind for more active, engaging knitting. This is the Lush Sampler Cowl. My headset. And yes, you are hearing airplane candy. There always has to be airplane candy. What are you kidding me? I'm going to bring two cameras in case one dies, the necessary sleep mask, that's a sock, <laughs> charger, and the iPad. That's the only other thing you're not seeing. So that is me packing my bag on Monday night. Two days till SSK. Whoa, whoa. Okay, talk to you later. I am still very tired, so let's um, dig in and get going. I'm not going to show any knitting. Save that for next time around. Uh, so, I got up bright and early on Wednesday morning, uh, all packed, got the boys in the car. It's very early. It's 10 of 5 Wednesday morning and I just have this to say. It's SSK day! I got my coffee, I'm about to get in the shower, gotta get the boys up, get them in the car, get them driving me to the airport. Got there that afternoon. I got there. I walked in to the lobby, and there were a bunch of ladies sitting there knitting, and they all said, "Knitting samurai!" <laughs> and it was very, very welcoming and cute. Um, we spent that evening or afternoon evening in a giant. Um, we called it the Great Hall while we were there. So this was at Scarrett Bennett, which is a, a college or it was a college at one time in Nashville, Tennessee. So. We stayed in dorms there, a little sparse, <laughs> glad I had my iPad with me. Um, so we stayed in the dorms there and then had meals and um, lots of knitting lounging around time and classes in another building. So um, it was great. It was like the biggest knit along or knit knitting group you've ever been to. As well as Mama Liniment. The Liniments are here in full force. <laughs> Mama is here. 
if you love us all sitting around in a room, just everybody knitting, what are you working on, what are you doing? Little pockets of conversation, very, very pleasant. Everyone was so warm and welcoming. Got to know lots of people. Um, I spent a good amount of my time with Steph Busy Minds and Laurel Knitter too. <laughs> she was actually um, a good, a good voice in my ear when I would get like, Roman, what's he doing? Oh my gosh. I'd be like, he's fine. Don't worry about him. So, had a good time that first night. Um, we went out to eat at a taco place, so we broke off into little groups. And I was a little nervous about that, but you know, you just look at the person next to you. What are you doing for dinner? Let's go eat here. And everybody goes. So we had um, some tacos and then came back and knit until midnight. I was up until midnight, one, two o'clock every night for four nights in a row. That I haven't done that since college. Like there was so much fun and laughing. I couldn't go to bed. It was just, this is Linus, the cat. Um, I couldn't stop. I didn't want to miss out. And my natural body clock had me up at 6.30 every morning. So I was burning the candle at both ends, I think is the term. I don't know what you say. But I was up early and up late and drinking lots and lots of Starbucks out of one just down the street. Oh, and by the way, while we were in Tennessee, it was record-breaking high, 110 degrees. So very warm. I am not used to that kind of heat. And it also puts things in perspective. Like, I can be like, oh, it's so hot. And then I look and it's 85 degrees. It's nothing compared to what I went through in Tennessee. So, day two, we ha I had classes. So I took Christine Kapoor's color work class. What a sweet lady she is. Um, she started the class off and said, in the first five minutes, you're going to learn to knit continental if you don't know how, or to pick, if, or continental must be English throw if you don't know how. So we were like the opposite one and it was like, don't argue with me, you're going to learn this. And I did and it was great. Um, Marion was such a brat. She was sitting behind me in that class and just kept razzing me for being so good at it. <laughs> but some of us were more focused and others of us were busy talking and chatting and yeah, so I actually, I don't, I don't have it, but I followed the charted instructions and she didn't quite, but it was funny. And then Steph, busy mind, that was next to me, quiet as a mouse, doing even better than I was doing. So it was really funny. I had a great time in that class. Kristen is awesome. Take a class from her if you get a chance. She has lots of information to share. And then, I'm not sure if it was later. I think that was the only class I had that day. Yeah. And so then we had the great meal. Apparently in the South, cottage cheese with fresh tomatoes is something they eat for lunch. Um, I, I was like, really, this is what lunch is? But it was delicious together. And I got to try collard greens, and there was a different spicy soup every day. So the food was really, really good. And then that night we went to Mellow Mushroom, which is a chain. Um, I actually went to dinner, was it that night? Nope, not that night, different night. Anyway, so Mellow Mushroom had a great pizza, came back. Nah, 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 nah. I actually woke up during the night, the first night, because this muscle right here was spasming because I don't knit that much anymore. <laughs> to actually sit and knit for, you know, I'm going to say 15, 16 hours each day because if I'm sitting, I'm knitting. So, anyways, you're looking at this goodie bag, aren't you? I'm, I'm just teasing you, letting it sit in front of me. So, that was day two. Day three, I had a class on blocking lace with Karen. Very informative. She is a hoot. She's a sweetheart to be around. Yeah. There. Okay. There we go. Rather than points, she wants scallops. Scallops. Oh. And I'd say rather than pinning that bottom point, Seth, mm. I'd say pin yeah. like two the sides. two sides, almost make a square, and then try to just round out that bottom shape a little bit. Then I had a class on beginnings and ends with Lala, Laura. Uh, she was very helpful. I did not know. What's it called? The Modified Russian Bind-Off, I think is what it was. I've never done that before, and it's going to solve all of my sock bind-off problems. So, and I don't know if you can hear him, but Matt, Steve just left, and Mac is downstairs sitting at the door crying. He does that but sometimes. So, that was great. And then Leslie taught me um, knitting backwards. So, I'm not sure I'll use that one. It's great to see 
I mean, it's pretty basic. Just retraining your brain and your muscles on how to do it. I had planned to use it to go back on shawls. I won't be doing that. Um, okay, so that was day two. That night, I went to dinner with Steve from Dramatic Knits. Got to know him a little bit. And I spent time knitting with Amy and Megan, not to name drop, but it was nice to get to know them. It, that was definitely something female people, and including myself, noticed. It was like, oh, here are all these podcasters I see every week, and here's a great opportunity. Here he is. There. See? It's okay, baby. Here's a great opportunity to sit down and get to know them and have them get to know me. And I really enjoyed seeing who's on the other side of the lens. So, you know, meeting Marisol and Maria, they're hilarious. It was great to see them and people telling me that what their favorite episodes were and all that. Anyway, so it was really, really fun, all of that. And then I do have one more thing to add that um, Diana Manable's hilarious. Spent an afternoon. That lady is very endearing on her podcast, but in person, she is a riot. Oh my god, if you ever get a chance to sit down and talk with her, let that woman run. She is feisty and hilarious. Also, blogless Carla, you made my night. So, <laughs> it's not like it's hard to make me laugh, but I do so enjoy it. So, all right. Next day was the market, and we got lots of goodies, and Linus is making the bag crickle. <laughs> so, um, the goodie bag, actually, that we got, Busy Mind Design, made 150 project bags. It's a great size project bag. I can fit, definitely fit a sweater in here. There were lots of goodies, lanyards, little tiny project bags. I'm not going to show it all. Stitch markers, coupon codes, all kinds of good stuff in here. As well as, I don't know where I put it, the official SSK color yarn. This was dyed by Gail's Art. It is a beautiful teal, blue, purple, brown color. So that's one. I'm only going to show you one thing, my favorite thing from each vendor, because you know me. I do tend to buy a, a bit. So, um, Fiber Notes. This was her SSK color. I was so stoked to be able to get this. And this is called, is her desire base. The colorway is called Kaleidoscope. And it's a 75% superwash Falkland, 25% nylon yarn, 460 yards. I have never knit with Falkland, to my knowledge, before, so I'd be anxious to use that. Um, from Highland Handmaids, I got the her Silver Maple Sock Yarn, which is 60% superwash merino, 30 bamboo, 10% nylon, and Loki Wim. I love this yarn. You can tell, like, look at it. Look at that drape already. It's not knit up. This is going to make a beautiful shawl. So she says machine wash line dry on it, but it's a great color and it's 425 yards. So I love it. This one's awesome. Um, the by far the hit of the show was another crafty. No, yes, another crafty girl. She was so cute. Uh, Punky is her rad name. I didn't really get to talk to her much, but I definitely bought more of her yarn. Well, no. She was the second most yarn I bought, and I wasn't even going there. She wasn't on my list of must-have, and then I walked into her booth, and it was absolutely stunning. Everything she had, like, there was so much buzz about her Sesame Street themed yarn colorways, but when I saw these colors, I fell over, so I hate sparkle, but when I saw this, which is her gamut colorway on a sparkle base, I, it's the base, she calls it Twinkle Sock, 75% uh, Superwash, 20 Nylon, 5 Stellina, I fell over hard, I was just like, that's coming with me, and it was hard because she wasn't the first place I went, and by the time I got there, a lot of the good stuff had been picked over, there were like, the way her booth was set up, you could tell there had been four or five of every color, and there was like one left. Grab it quick. So there's another one of hers that I just thought was stunning. This is Jemaine. So hers blew me away. I'm going to show you another one, even though I said I wasn't going to, just because it was just, oh my god, this is a hideous zipple back, and this one is her worsted, Marino worsted. Just her color sense is amazing, truly stunning, truly. So that was her. Um, I also found my way to Miss Babs, and she has these Yowza Water skeins. These are 
massive uh, worsted 560 yard skeins. I will definitely be ordering more of this online. I really, I saw this one first, and so I had to have it. It's the Gunslinger colorway. Um, yeah, little connection there, and I just couldn't pass it up. <laughs> so I actually bought two. So I, I'm seeing a vest or maybe a short sleeve sweater for me out of this, but it's stunning, Miss Babs. I've never had Miss Babs before, so I was excited to see that. Um, what else is in here? Oh, here's some Gail's art. This is her merino silk colorway, I believe. Yes, merino silk in the navy colorway. And this one came with a free slip knit cowl pattern. So I'll probably be knitting those together because they looked beautiful. One of, there were lots and lots of door prizes. And one of the door prizes I won was um, Unwinded Yarn. This is, I'm not sure what the shawl is. I thought it was Lala's My Hope shawl, but I, it doesn't look right. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But this is a kit to do one of those yards. And how fitting that it's a nice teal. Well, this is green, but this is teal. So the base of it's this color and then the edging is that color. So super happy to get that. Um, what else can I show with you? Erin Lane. Found my way into her booth. This is a super tiny project bag, but but look at that color! Like I couldn't leave it behind. I know it's probably useless for me because of the size. Like I'll do one sock and then get mad and won't be able to get the second sock in here. But plus the first plus the skinny yarn. But maybe I will. I don't know. I just love the color. And then I did buy a bucket bag. So these are very cute. I really liked it. Yes, you can see a Malabrigo tag hanging out the side. But that's her bucket bag, and that's her sweater. She was so cute. She was like, I take a whole bunch of these and line them up around the top of my closet, and so it looks nice and organized, and my husband has no idea that they're full of yarn. <laughs> it's like, that's a thought. The top of my closet could totally handle that. Um, by far, yeah, that's... I also got a Hiawassee Creek self-striping. This is her Emerald City in the... Bowden sock. I have not seen or knit with this before, so that's exciting for me. Um, let's see, what else? The, the find of the show for me was that I, because I went to Lisa Fiber Nymph, I went to her booth three times. I know I'm crazy, but I got TARDIS. I didn't care what I got from her, I just wanted something I would love, and I love TARDIS. So this one, I wrapped it up right away, again, on the desire base, so that one's new to me. And then, other thing I want to show you <laughs> is her gradient. So I also got the Serenity, which is a, oh, that's not what I thought this was. Okay, they're different. So I got the Serenity, which is a 80% merino, 20% bamboo gradient, hot time, summer in the city, whoa, that color's so happy so happy and then I also got the great the King's Cross gradient in or King's Crossing King's Cross gradient in the sunshine which is a 70 to 25 superwash nylon. on and last but certainly not least uh, euphoric sock by three used twisted in fiber in the cat in the hat colorway so happy to have more of her striping yarn. You know I love it. I love it so much. So that's my haul. Um, had a great time watching the labyrinth with everybody. Laurel recited the entire movie pretty much, which was hilarious to me because I was petrified of it as a kid. And we did all get up and dance like fools during Dance Magic Dance. <laughs> so it was an excellent time. So many new friends. It's totally going to change my experience on Ravelry because everyone I talk to that I was there with shares that experience and I know them. Like They're not just their little avatar or their projects. They're a person with opinions and so much fun. Thanks for sharing it with me and I hope this wasn't too much of a let me show you what I bought and make you crazy that you didn't buy it. But I definitely recommend going next year. So. That's it for me for this episode. I will catch you next time. Take care. Bye.